as you're probably well aware, when you bring images off a camera onto your computer, they come in usually with the file names that the camera used to write them to its little memory card. Now, if you're using the photo downloader utility that is part of Adobe Bridge, or you use the file get photos from camera command, you can actually change the file naming of the files that you bring in as you dump them off the camera. In this case, we haven't done that. So there's a way to actually change the names of all your files in a batch process. You can do it all in one step instead of actually clicking and changing the file name one by one. The trick here is to select the images in the content view that you want to change. I'm just going to go ahead and do select all. So command or control A to select everything in the current view in the content panel here. Under your tools menu in Bridge is the batch rename command. We'll go ahead and choose that. And that brings up this very large dialog box where you have a lot of control over how you want your files to be renamed. One of the things you can do is decide if you want to just rename them in the same folder, just change the existing files, or rename them and move them to another folder, or even copy them to another folder. We're going to go ahead and just rename them in the same folder. And at this point here, you can then decide what kind of naming scheme you want to use. By default, the first option is just simple text, meaning whatever you type in here. So let's say I want to have the base of my file names here be the word sisters, followed by an underscore, so that there's a space between that word and then what comes next. From the pop-up menu, you can choose a sequence number or letter, the date and time, some other existing piece of information, like the metadata that you can choose from a particular value. Let's just go back to a sequential number and keep it easy. And you can decide how many digits you want your sequential number. I'm going to go ahead and just do two digits for now. And you can also decide, you know, what does your starting number need to be? You know, keeping track of all my images sequentially, I want them all to have, you know, unique sequential numbers. I can just type in the start number from the previous series that I've done, let's say. You know, if I make this 56, you can see down below here, I get the preview and my first image in my selection will start with the number 56. All right, pretty easy to understand. Let's go ahead and just make it number one. And if you want additional pieces of information in your naming scheme, you can just click the plus button to add another row of information. Let's go ahead and subtract that. Once you have everything set up the way you want, if this is something you're going to use often, you can actually save a preset and give that a name. And then you can just pop the preset open the next time you use the rename command. But let's just go ahead and click rename. And you'll see those selected images are instantly renamed. Pretty cool, huh?